Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about uh, things to keep in your mind before joining a DNB hospital. Now we have seen a great incline from our graduates who are more uh, inclined to take up a DNB course rather than do an MDMS from a very expensive private medical college or from a peripheral MDM, MDMS college. So there are certain things that you need to keep in mind before you actually opt for a DMB course. So let us consider this segment into three parts that is under the hospital, the department and miscellaneous. So let's get started. Coming to the hospital, total number of beds in a hospital, very important because you know doing it from a good number of bedded hospital that is say about 500 beds, your DNP degree is equal to any MDMS degree. Okay, so even from 300 bedded is good but you need to do a one year senior residency. In case you do not have any plans to join a government hospital, then yes, you can join any number of bedded hospital that you want, okay? But joining in a much bigger bed does improve your career scope on a long run, okay? Next, pass percentage. Pass percentage of the hospital as well as the department that you want to join, okay? Next, if the pass percentage is poor, koi fayda nahi hoga agar, you know, you just go and join there and yet you fail and, you know, stay there and study for the other eight months, it's totally waste of time, right? Okay, next, it also indicates how, how the academics are going on in the particular hospital, okay? Next, review about the hospital. No one can give you a better review than your senior, right? Yes, get in touch with your seniors and then they'll give you the best information possible, okay? Next thing, we will talk about the department, that is the number of residents in your branch. Say, for example, if there are like um, one resident or two residents and then you take up a, a core clinical specialty, say like surgery or anesthesia, medicine, and then you have hectic night duties all on your shoulders, you know, um, you have uh, night duties every third day, every fourth day, that is, that is a very bad life, okay? So make sure that at least the number of residents are two to three, okay? Even more number of residents does indicate that there are more number of senior and junior consultants above you who are actually guiding you. And then it also indicates the department competency to acquire more number of residents under them, okay? Yeah, and uh, know about the HOD of the department because once you, you know, finish your degree course and then you come out people do ask you under whom did you learn the subject okay HOD is very important the number of publications the fame he has in the department is totally diff, diff, uh, important okay and then review of the hospital not just from your seniors also talk to the patients try talking to them talk to the uh, staff there the nursing staff paramedicals everyone okay because they you know these people they have been working in that hospital since ages so they might give you much better information regarding how the work culture is you know if they are being paid on time if the management is treating them like humans and not like uh, you know like workers you know like who work under them you know they pay them and then just they just make them work Work like anything okay and I heard that uh, not just me many people have heard that you know DNB residents ka khoom choose lega you know the hospitals that is what they do but uh, yes there are certain hospitals I've been to where they do suck the blood but then there are hospitals which are very nice and very you know DNB friendly so make sure that you actually kind of get to know the work environment work culture there Okay, and the next thing we talk about is the uh, talk to the residents. Okay, they give you a better insights, you know, like other, you know, if you want to go join the hospital. Yes, the hospital is good. The management is good. HOD and all of them are good. They do encourage you, you know, with respect to the work and all of it. Then you can just go, you know, they, they can give you much better words, you know, in that particular department. Say, for example, I don't say that you just go to one hospital, but then there, is, there should be at least like five to six hospitals on your list that you actually want to go and join. Or at least after the first counseling, when you get a college, I totally, totally recommend you to go there, talk to them. And you, when you feel that it is actually good working in that hospital, then you can go for it. Okay. Know if the academics are happening properly, the journal cups, seminar sessions and discussions, case discussions, rounds, how they are happening. It is important. Okay. And accommodation. Coming to this part. Okay. Once you have paid that 1.47 lakh fee on your uh, DNB site, you know, this uh, fee, it includes the GST as well as the accommodation as well. That is what I got to know, okay? In case um, you want a re refund for the accommodation that you do not want to go be in, be in the hostel there, once this fee gets transferred to your institute, you can actually claim a re refund from them. That is what I got to know from my institute. 
okay and uh, not many dnb hospitals do provide accommodation some of them don't even give any accommodation to the residents so just make make sure that uh, you know what what fits in your priority okay next uh, the other miscellaneous things are just in case if you're joining uh, a branch like radiology the number of x-rays ct scans mris that are being done on a day-to-day -day basis that is an an opd basis because more number of exposure also the number of op cases that are coming in patient admissions okay and the number of surgeries that they are posted very important for medicine anesthesia surgical departments obg obviously obg go you know no one can even stop that opd of obg so doesn't matter but yeah coming to such in certain surgical specialties like these it is very important that you know the number of admissions happening in that hospital okay it's very important for your learning and uh, yeah just get to uh, ask if you will be absorbed by the hospital or you have to go searching out elsewhere because in certain hospitals may they do absorb very good residents you know like the top performing residents they absorb in the hospital they do not have to go again outside looking for another job in case you want to freelance also you can you know like go but then you know getting absorbed by the hospital staying there in the same environment you know like working there again for the next few years is quite a good experience okay and there is a difference between a recognized dnb seat and a permitted seat so make sure that your seat is recognized and any additional bonds for the particular hospitals because in certain states certain hospitals do have a bond that you have to work for a year just because you're studying in a hospital most of the dnb hospitals they do not have this bond but yes there's some, there are certain hospitals which do have that so before joining make sure that you get to know about certain minor things which we might actually tend to mess out okay so that's all for today so i hope you found this informative thank you so much for watching stay tuned bye